Adelio there, neighborinos. <laughs> Welcome back to Atlas. We are... We're stranded... Well, okay, we're not going to go and sell that story. We're not stranded on an island, but you might already be able to tell we are surrounded by a little bit of a different surrounding right this second. We're on an island. Not our standard old Isle of the Marooned. Not our salty Miola Alpha Squad company island. No, we are currently... Uh, a little further north. I'm not going to mention the exact island because today we're going on a little bit of a solo adventure. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. Take it back. Take it back like 30 steps. Take it back to literally what we should have been doing in our very first couple episodes of, well, playing this game. We're going to be building a ship. That's right. We're obviously not going to get it done today. It's going to be a progressive thing, but it's something we should have done very long ago because I've realized on our adventures... I don't really know what I'm doing in this game. You know, when we're out at sea battling ships of the damned, I don't know how to repair a ship. I don't know how to build a ship. I don't know anything to do with the ships. Apart from steering them in a straight line, basically. That's about all I'm capable of. But we find ourselves up here in one of our, um, I guess it's one of our company members' houses, bases, places. Uh, it's a very nice place. This is owned by Ian, and Ian has been an absolute legend and offered up his house, his home, his place of comfort to us to go ahead, get away from everything for a little bit of lonely time where we can think about all the mistakes we've made in the past and hopefully right our wrongs. Is that right? Is that what, is that what you call it? Right your wrongs? Right your, right out your wrongs? Right your wrongs away? I don't know, but we're going to build a ship, basically. Now, I've already gone and stolen a couple tools from my friend Ian. Sorry, Ian. Uh, no, I, 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 I use these resources to craft myself some collection tools. Uh, but the reason we are up here is because apparently... Um, as far as resources goes, this island has everything in a very, very close fashion. We got a lot of a lot of wood, a lot of stone, a lot of metal, apparently, in very close vicinity. So we don't have to go very far to collect anything. Which is just the way I like it. The less effort, the better. I'm all about that lack of effort. Now, I've already gone ahead and got myself a, a smithy and a loom. Because apparently we're going to need three things. A smithy, a loom, and a large shipyard. That's right, we're making a large ship. Not just any type of ship. A large ship. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of still tossing up which of the two it's going to be. I don't know. I don't know if we go down the pathway of a galleon or a brigantine or... Or we actually have a modded one as well that uh, I haven't told you guys about yet. It's the India Man. The India Man, which is an amazing looking ship, but it's a modded ship. And I, I'm a little bit untrustworthy of mods just because I know things can get bad. I don't know. It could, it, it could just go bad. It looks cool. Ah, oh, can I? See, I was kind of, I was kind of leaning towards the Brigantine. But then again, there is... Oh, I think we gotta go the India Man ship. It just looks so cool. We're going to go for the modded ship. Stuff it. And if, you know, if the mod corrupts itself or removes itself from the server and things get out of control, then so be it. It is what it is. Now, can I even place these? I need foundations, don't I? All right, well, let's go and start by... Well, we can just go and place them over there, I suppose. Or, you know, we can just do things the way they're meant to be done. Now, we have no armor. We have no weapons. We have nothing but... I don't know, the chains on our back, the leather, the leather straps over my shoulders. We're not wearing a lot, basically, is what I'm trying to say. We're, we're, we're wearing, like, okay, put your fists away, mate. Put your fists away. This, today, is a passive episode. It's a friendly episode. We're here to craft. We're here to collect. We're here to do everything but attack. Actually, we might need some hide along the way, so maybe we actually do need to attack, but I don't have any weapons, so maybe I didn't really think that one through too well at all. In fact, yeah, you know what? I probably messed that one there up, but we'll cross that bridge when the time comes. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dummy. Ah, oh, I'm just keen on a little bit of a, a slower paced one, less adventuring, scale it back, building up a nice big old ship. Basically, you might be wondering, I know, like, Ah, uh, if, you're, if you're familiar with what's been going on on the server, we have a lot of ships. A lot of ships in our company. And you know what? The, probably the last thing we need is more ships. Um, I'm going to make more ships, though. I'm going to go against the grain. I'm going to go against the rules. Why, you might ask? Because this is my company. No, um, basically, I feel bad using other people's ships. Whenever we go out on an adventure, I mean, it goes without saying that you're kind of risking losing a ship. The ship might not return. No, I don't want a roof. I want a floor. 
the ship may not return home. And that's just one of those realities that you got to be prepared for at all times. And because I've put pretty well, oh, look at this little guy. Because I put pretty well no time and no effort into all of these ships that we're using, I would feel absolutely horrible to, I don't know, be there if one, is that, to be there if something were to go wrong. So, I, yeah, I want my own ship. That way I can, you know, I can point at a ship of the damned and be like, we're attacking that son of a gun right there. And we just charge straight at it and T-bone it. Just, just, just drive straight into the thing without any care in the world. Because at the end of the day, it'll be my time that's being lost and nobody else's. <laughs> at least that's the way I'm thinking of it. And I hope that's, I don't know, that's the plan. That's the plan, Jan. And that's all that really matters. Now, we're not going to be placing down any claims. We're not going to be doing anything that we don't need to do. All we're going to be doing is placing our smithy and this little fella. And we've got our little building dock right here ready. Now, I, you know what? We're doing the India man. We're doing the India man. It's as simple as that. Here it is. We can craft 25 of these, but we don't need 25. We only need one. Um, so yeah, fiber, stone, thatch, and wood. We've already collected a bunch of that. I don't know exactly how long it's going to take us to collect this, but I don't think it'll be long. We've already got the stone. We just need about 700 fiber, 2,000 thatch, 4,000 wood. And I got carrots here. I'm going to feed these carrots to a parrot. I want a little pet parrot for my adventure. Or a chicken. You know what? If we can't get a parrot, I'll take a chicken. I don't care. I just want a little companion. Someone to keep me company. Someone to keep me warm when the storms come. Someone to snuggle up closely with a knight. Because surely enough, the time will come. We're going to get lonely out here all stranded on one of these northern islands. Which has no name. Which... Actually does have a name because if you look at the top right of the screen, it's sitting right there. <laughs> oh boy, I can't even try and be discreet. Can't even try and hide my location. It's just there for everyone to see. But um, I wanted to I want to know, like, how many of you guys are currently still enjoying our Atlas videos? I'm trying to get one out minimum a week. The goal is usually two. I like to get two Atlas videos out a week, but I'm happy to do like one every eight or nine days, one every seven days. Maybe I'll just pick one day of the week and that'll be Atlas Day. I'm not too sure. I'm working on that one there, but um, I don't know. I, I think I, there is a bit of a crossover between the Ark viewers and the Atlas viewers, which is cool because, I mean, the games are very similar. Obviously, they're pretty well the same game, except one has dinosaurs and the other has pirate ships. Um, outside of that, there's not a lot that's very different, let's be honest here. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious to, to hear what you guys think. Also, if you haven't heard, because I doubt a lot of you have, I've actually relaunched my second channel. My second channel has been around for quite some time. A lot of you guys probably don't know about that because I kind of go through phases where I upload there and then don't upload there. Um, I'm pretty bad at it, let's be honest. Also, can I drink seawater or is that a bad thing to do? Like, is that, like, arc like that or not? Anyways, I went and uploaded a video over there, and I'm going to pl plan to continue doing that some more. Um, it's, it's a lot higher, a lot more highly edited than my content over here. Um, it's a little bit different. Who am I, who am I lying? It's, it's, it's very different. It is incredibly different. But I'm going to have a little link on the screen, a little pop-up card thing, and you guys can go and check that out if you're interested. I'm going to have a link in the description as well. The channel is called That Matt Guy. I've ditched the Miola name for that channel. Just, I don't know, it's a bit of a side project. I want to run it solo. I mean, as much as I am kind of referring you guys from here to there to go and check it out, um, it is going to be a little bit of a solo operation. Different kinds of videos, different games. If all you want to watch is Atlas and Ark or these types of like survival games, then just stay here. You don't need to head over there. It's all good. Um, but if, you know, a little bit of variety, you just want you just want more videos from the one and only Mr. Miola or... I guess, as he's known over there, that Matt guy, um, then head on over. I'm still me. If you want more videos, that's where you're going to find them. Um, and let me know what you think. I hope you do enjoy it. Currently, there are a bunch of older videos there, but then the most recent one that I've uploaded is a Sims 4 uh, on the new game pack called Strangerville, which is kind of like a Stranger Things payout type Thing. It's pretty pretty cool. Yeah, if uh, if that sounds interesting, then go ahead and check it out. It's actually a really cool video, and I've uh, I've had a lot of really cool feedback from that video, which makes me super duper happy. I've I'm I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of it, and I hope to back it up with uh, more similar type of content. Yeah, I gotta I gotta be consistent. We gotta try and get as many of those out as possible. We're just gonna keep them rolling out basically. But um, yeah, like I said, putting a little bit more effort into those than I've really put into any video in the past. Oh, no, don't hit the monkey. 
Can I feed the monkey? No! Don't run away! No. Oh. They're a lot slower than the ones in Arca. Um, I do say more effort than I've ever put into a video before, but that would be a lie. Um, if you guys have... You know what? I'm just going to eat this, these carrots. I need the thirst. It'll help out. Um, that would be a lie. I made a parody, a Minecraft parody, many years ago. Many, many moons ago. Actually, I think it was like five years ago now. It's kind of crazy. But um, that... I probably spent at least a thousand hours on just that one video. Which I guess paid off because it's got like 15 million views on it now. So, um, actually, you know, it didn't pay off because it got copyright striked by Sony. Well, at least they claimed the revenue from it. So that was a little bit sad. But we finally have all of the resources for our India Man shipyard. Let's go ahead and craft this bad boy. Stage one is completed. And I did it all by myself. Mom, are you proud? I think mom's proud. All right. Okay. So how are we going to place this sucker there? Oh boy, it's massive. Oh, it is huge. Okay. Um, I actually... I like, we obviously got to place it somewhere that it's not going to beach itself, right? I don't know how that works exactly, but... No, hold on. Hold on. I want to see it. I want to see it behind me. Maybe if I just point it straight at the ground. That's definitely going to get beached! Alright, maybe... The thing... Ah, we got we to gotta build it, like, close, though. Close to the shore. Right? That's how this works. Hold on. Maybe a little bit over this way. Maybe that's actually a pretty good spot. Like, when you think about it, it goes quite deep here. Quite suddenly. Perfect. Yeah! Just drop it like that. Look at this. Big old crevice right here. Perfection. Perfection at its perfectly finest. Alright, and I'm thirsty. I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna try it. This might be the dumbest thing ever. Can I just drink salt? I can't drink salt water. I need a little water bag and I'm supposed to cook it to get the salt out of it, right? Something like that, maybe? I don't know. Um, but we now have a decision to make. Actually, it's good that we made this shipyard because, I mean, at the end of the day, we can craft any of the three large ships in it. Um, but we have the India Man here. We have the Galleon. Oh, I was so tempted to do a Galleon, but it's just too big. It's too big and too expensive. In fact, the India Man is bigger than the brass oh, stuff. Where'd you go, an India Man? Nothing more to it. Let's do it. I need a little water pouch, though, don't I? All right. Well, it's time to get some weapons. We are not going to last very long otherwise. Uh, in fact, we don't really need this right now. We can go and throw all of our resources into our shipyard. <gasps> There's my little parody. But nope. Don't fly away. No. No. Wait. I gotta get a bowler. Is what I gotta get, right? Yeah. We should probably get a bowler. Uh, anyways, I need to kill something. I need some hide. We need a little bit of hide. And this monkey is in the wrong place at the wrong time. There we go. Sorry, little dude. Sorry, little man. I need your, uh, I need your goodness. Or maybe I should just eat some carrots. Do they cure my thirst? I hope so. I don't think so. Is that a, man is that a mango? Not a mango. Is that a coconut? Is that what that's supposed to be? It looks like a coconut. Anyways, we can get ourselves a water skin now. I can't believe I can't remember if you can just drink any normal water or not. Let's hope that the developers, uh, you know, wait, can we not just fill it up? Oh, that's bad. That's not what we want to be seeing. There is a wild cat right over there. Oh, we can have coconuts. Oh, can we get water out of the coconuts? I bet you we can't. Now we're just going to die of thirst. Yippee. Aha! Uh -huh. Give me that water, baby! Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're no longer thirsty, at least. Alright, well, at least water is no longer gonna be an issue. I was kind of tempted to go and take one of these bears across because they are very high level bears. I know that I do not own these bears. In fact, this one's name is Sleep, which means maybe he's a little sleepy one. Maybe I'll take you. I like to sleep as well. We have things in common. Um, but. These guys deal a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't... Oh, gosh. Okay, sorry. No, no, we don't... No, we're not taking a whole pack of bears with us. <laughs> These aren't our bears to be take... Oh, come on, guys. You're following too closely. You're following too closely. All right. I, I need you guys to stay here. Otherwise, you're going to get me in trouble with Ian. I don't want to... I don't want to upset him. Okay. You sit tight. Okay. Okay. And I just want to test him on one of these cows. Because if you can't kill a cow, 
Then, okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. He should be able to take out that little lioness that's just chilling over here, about to bother us any second. He just, yep, this guy. This guy, it is a lion. I thought it was a tiger. Definitely a lion. Come here, you little lion. In fact, it is a lioness. Come here. You're not a timid creature. Lions aren't supposed to like water. Yet yeah, there you are, just... Oh, nearly had him. Nearly had him. Hey, two can play that game, buddy. Two can play that game. Did I just get... Did I just get dismounted? I nearly died. Maybe we should take more care. Maybe we should be a little bit more careful. But at least we got some bones and fur now. Nice. Well, that's a good uh, solution to our hide problem there, isn't it? Little sleepy one. Alrighty. Well, back to our shipyard we go. We have a lot more resources to collect. And a big old ship to craft. In fact, can you break trees? I don't think so. But at least you'll protect me, won't you? You'll take care. I'm gonna have you follow me. And it is night time. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Um, yes, it is night time. My favorite. I love it when the game gets nice and dark. Yeah, nice and dark. They just got used in the same sentence. Wait, that's... Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of the old night time. It just gets so dark and just ugly. It's just not nice. It's just... I don't like to be... It's hard to see, okay? Oh, boy. Snake. Hey, buddy. How you doing there? Hey, little sleepy fellow. Let's go and... Let's... Let's... Just protect me, basically. That's all I ask. There you go, mate. See you later. Nice knowing you. And a little bit. That rock did not last long at all. Literally one hit and it was gone. It was gone as gone could be. Now, now I actually can't even remember what we needed, but we've got a bunch of resources to at least get ourselves started. So, can I actually, can I, can I swim up there with you or not? All right, just sit tight, buddy. Sit tight. I just got a little bit, a little bit of stuff to drop off. Pelts. Fur, bones, probably don't need bones, but we'll drop them off anyways. Uh, bit of flint, bit of, wait, flint? No, we don't need flint, just straw and stone. Granite. Wait, why can't I move that over? Oh, you can only move across the resources that are actually needed for the build. You can't actually put any other items in there. So I guess we'll just go and put the rest of the stuff onto our little berry friend right here because why not? Oh, so we might be in a little bit of trouble in a second. Because not only are we dying of hunger, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to die. Oh, no. Oh, no. My vitamins. My vitamins are messed up. They're all out of control. All right. All right. We're running home. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't think I've ever been hungry in this game. Um... I'm gonna die in a second and obviously we'll have to respawn. What a dummy I am. There we go, about time. Took your sweet old time, didn't ya? Honestly, this base is so cool. It's just, <laughs> after living in such a big base for quite a while, it's nice to just be chilling at a bit of a, oh, it's gonna fall. Hmm, that actually came off all right. It's nice to just be chilling at a bit of a smaller type of thing. It's just, it's cozy. That's what it is, it's cozy. So much cozier compared to, I mean, our monstrosity, which is literally just a big old hunk of monstrosity-ness. It is uh, rather refreshing. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to run across to the shipyard, and I'm actually going to find out and write down the exact resources that we need to get this job done. Because otherwise, I'm going to keep on forgetting and keep on telling you guys that I'm forgetting. So we need ourselves four... 130 metal. Easy peasy, baby. We need ourselves 4,600 thatch. We need ourselves about 2,000 wood. This is going to be a cinch to, to, to collect. And we need ourselves roughly 1,700 fiber. Writing things down. Old school, baby. Old school. Man, I should have borrowed our uh, old buzzling sickle. We could have picked up this fiber in like... Actually, hold on. Can you pick up fiber? Oh! Oh, we can! Oh, gosh! Oh, oh, there we go. There's the fiber collection, baby. That's all we need. Oh, look at all of the fi uh, that, That's assuming this straw is fiber, right? Pretty sure it is. Yep. Okay, well, uh, the fiber has been collected. We'll just get a little bit extra. How about... Hold on. Can you collect wood? Or just more straw? 
You can stand up. What? I don't think we're collecting nothing for doing that, though, are we? Definitely got the straw, though. Perfection right there. Uh, now it's just wood. Okay. Well, we're going to need 2,000 of that. That won't take long to collect. And the best part is, while we collect it, we obviously collect our thatch as well. Two birds, one stone. They said it couldn't be done. We showed them otherwise. Oh, yes, we did. That's about 900. Only 1,100 or so more. Man, Ian wasn't kidding, man. Ian was not kidding. There are so many resources around. Everything's here. You actually got to travel quite far inland to get the wood um, at our, our current base. Everything's quite spread out. And I think that's because of the size of the island. It's literally the biggest island in this world. Biggest island. I'm pretty sure it is. The biggest island on our 3x3 server. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Look at all the boats on it. It's ridiculous. Um, okay, that one there might contest it. Actually, I actually haven't been down. I don't think I've been down here. That looks interesting. Yeah, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> it's just one big old rock. It's ridiculous. I guess I underestimated how big it actually was when we built there, but I mean, it's still cool either way. Okay, so I'm going to have to start focusing on metal now. Um, I think we can pull metal from these rocks. I just don't know how efficient it is. Actually, it's not bad. 28 copper. We need 430. And it looks like you actually get it from the first couple swings. Maybe? Or maybe that was just that one rock. Yeah, I think it was just that one rock that we got all the copper at once. All right, we're going to definitely have to find some, like, proper metal nodes if that's the case because otherwise we're going to be chopping up like 20 of these things because every one of them seems to have exactly 24 copper um that's just a poop that's not a rock unfortunately or maybe what's that oh limestone does that count is limestone a metal oh it's just a stone it's just a yeah it's just a stone all right buddy my little sleepy friend Let's see if we can find some metal resources on this island. Just bear in mind, we're probably going to run past about 10 different types that I don't recognize right away. Oh my, what is it with starving on this island? This is crazy. I've never... All right, we're going to have to build ourselves a... Uh... Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to build ourselves a bit of a... A fire. To keep this stuff cooking. To keep us from dying. Of hunger. We're going to cook some meat up, basically. Oh, wait. I'm feeding him. I'm supposed to be feeding me. Feed me. Not the bear. Is that a metal rock? I sure hope so. Kind of looks a bit lime. Oh, it is. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's everything. That's all the metal we needed. Oh, you legend. You beauty. I kind of think we should... Oh, well, at least we know where to get it. It's it's really, really close. It is, like, ridiculously close. Okay, that was nice. Oh, I was about to give up. I was honestly about to give up. I didn't think we were going to find what we're looking for, but it all worked out in the end. Just goes to show. Stay positive, and everything will uh, it'll find its way. So now, we just need about 4,000 fronds. Yeah, 4,000 of these bad boys. I mean... That's about 10 trees. 11 trees, 12 trees, maybe 13. Hopefully no more than 13. We don't want to go into the 14 range. Ugh, that's just yucky. Nah, we should be fine. See, we're actually coming up on the part that I'm super excited for because I've seen boats in the, uh, you know, in the in-between phases, you know? I've seen the skeleton of a ship. I've seen ships with, like, you know, part kind of built, part completed, but I've never actually known how it works or the process. Once you get the skeleton, I don't know if you kind of just like slot in the items and it builds it itself or you actually get to choose where things lock onto and stuff. Um, so this is really, this is really cool. This is the part I've been waiting for. Oh, so we need 4,600. We're currently at about 4,400, 200 more and we are a dunzo. That's it. That should be it. Well. For now, you know, at least to get our skeleton up and running. All right, let me up, my little India man duck. Let's go, let's go straw. Let's get our thatch in. Let's get our wood. I guess we just chuck all of it. Um, our metal, of course. And there we go. There we go. There it is. Let's do it, baby. Give me that skeleton. 
That is a big old bad boy right there. Holy mo- Oh, it's in the inside. It's on the inside. It's not- This is just the scaffolding on the outside, of course. Can I- Oh, good. Hold on. Let me go have a look. There it is. There's our baby. Get a load of this thing. That is a big old ship. And maybe it's because it's above water. <laughs> maybe that's probably what it is. Uh, okay. So what I'm curious about now is do we go and- We must. We must have to go and build it part by part and like place it onto the ship exactly where we want them, right? Because I assume if we go in here, we've got all of our resources and that's about it. Does that mean then that I need to go ahead and craft us another smithy? I know, I know that sounds silly. Hopefully I've got the resources for it. I do. I'm going to craft one anyway. We've got, we've got everything that we need. There's no reason not to. Um, I want to see if we can place it on the dock. And if we can't, we at least got to place it like... A little bit closer to the dock. We can. Okay. Uh, um, but where are we going to place this thing? Because we don't want to block our, like, walkways and stuff, do we? I guess. I have no idea. I mean, I can't see us ever going down here, right? <laughs> Perfect. That's exactly where I want it. Okay. Okay. So now we can just ditch all of these resources across. We can eat a bunch of berries, because again, we're hungry. You know what? What do I need for a campfire? Flintstone thatch wood. Campfire can go and sit up here as well, and then we'll go grab some meat in a second. Um, but what I was curious about is we are going to, yeah, basically going to have to start crafting the actual decks and that sort of stuff. Now, I'm assuming we need ourselves a large wooden deck, right? Which we need a bunch of thatch and wood for. Um, but I don't actually know if it's a large one or a medium one. Because it, at least according to what I'm reading right here. The, the brig uses a medium but the galleon uses a large one. So I think we'll just craft a large one. And then we'll, we'll see if that works. At least I don't have to swim either. We can just run back and forth. Ah, oh, that's such a time saver. Oh, it's daytime again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, I actually don't know how many different decks and stuff like that we're going to be needing. So maybe I should go and work that out as well. Or at least work out what we're going to need to craft these. We're good for fiber. 650 thatch, 800. So about, yeah, 650. Let's go for about 2,000 fiber. 2,000 thatch, sorry. And then the rest wood. And then hopefully that'll be enough. Well, we were doing quite a good job, and then my hatchet broke, <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go and repair that, but we've still got our uh, our pickaxe, which is doing just fine and dandily. I guess we should go and just smash the rest of these trees on the way back. Is that even- a oh, that is a tree. I wasn't sure if this one was or not. These looks like they're pretty good for uh, thatch as opposed to wood, though, but we need both, so that's all good. And we need so much of both as well, so it's really not going to hurt us getting any extra. All right, we're tired, we're hungry, we're thirsty. Actually, we're not thirsty. We're all good as far as thirst goes, but everything else is a little bit, a little bit shabby. Seen better days. We're going to go smash some of that meat that's sitting right there in front of us. It's just teasing me. I can, my lips, my lips are getting juicy. They want a little bit of that meat. Let's go. Ah, oh, if only we placed this thing like a little bit closer, it would have been perfect. All righty. There's my cooked meat. There's not much of it, but it's, it's fine. Every little bit helps. There we go. Alrighty, so we got wood. We've got thatch. Is that everything I need for my decks? I sure hope so. We can craft one. We can craft two. Alright, two's a good start. Assuming- Oh, I should have just checked if we actually needed these ones here first. Alright, how do these things even work? I'm assuming I just jump up here and go four. And then- Oh! Oh! Wait, is that it there? Oh, that is a- Wait, oh, we're gonna need a bunch of these, aren't we? Let me just go, let me go and just move up here, okay. Uh, four. But I don't wanna place it, I guess that's where we have to place it? Is that how it works? <laughs> Alright, fine. There we go. Two? That's awesome! I think we're gonna need more than two or three of these, though. Oh, that's how this all works? It's actually a lot easier than I thought it was. The grind is just... Collecting the actual resources. And before I forget, we got we got some stuff to repair. Is it possible to not be hungry in this game or what? Maybe it's just this island. I think because it's a little bit cold. We're actually not wearing any clothes or anything. Maybe maybe that's the problem. 
Maybe I'm gonna go and make myself a little bit of clothing. We're gonna get ourselves a tannery, I suppose. Um, that would definitely be what's it. Yeah, when you're cold, you are... Uh, yeah, you, you need more food. And we're really not doing that. Alrighty, let's go! I know I'm hungry. I'm get, this stuff's gonna end up killing me. That's how this works. You eat too much, your nutrients go up too far in one little batch, and then you end up poisoned. Again. <laughs> For the second time in a day. Alrighty, we- Oh, no, 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 I gotta get craft my decks. What am I doing, man? No! But well, that was just dumb. I'd like to say that was the first time I've done that, but it's definitely not. Alrighty, so. Get your wood in there, get your fibers in there, get your uh, deck out of there. Um... Okay, we still need more thatch. I forgot to collect thatch. Oh wells. It is what it is. Let's get our new deck on! Look at that big old beast right there. It's a full level deck. How many levels are there to this thing though? Because it looks like it goes quite low below water. Yeah, that's just the main deck. Yeah, that's still the top deck. Oh no, <laughs> we got a bunch still to go. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, yeah. Interesting. Interesting, very interesting. You know what we should go and do? We should go and see if Ian's got any elephants handy. Elephants and rhinos. They will help us collect resources for days. Instead of me doing it manually like an absolute goofball. Like I'm currently doing. Alright, we got some more wood. We've got ourselves a bunch more straw as well. And once again, we are stabbing! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> oh, what an absolute goof. Anyways, we should hopefully have enough resources now to at least... I just want to complete the decks. That's really all I want to do. I want to complete the decks, try and get that done, and then, yeah, that, that's really it. I want to complete the decks today and we'll come back and uh, do the rest another time. Oh, we do need thatch. See, I'm starting to reconsider what I just said and say, stuff it, we'll do the decks another, no, we're gonna do it. I'm a man of my words, even if I forget a lot of the time what my word is. All right, it's only a matter of time before we end up dying from hunger again. Let's go and, Oh, no, 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 you stay here, you stay here, you stay here. You're not meant for water, buddy. You're not meant to come out here. Let's go and get this thing done once and for all. And by done, I mean, you know, a couple decks. Obviously not the whole thing. One and two? Do we just, do we just craft a bunch more? I don't even know. I really just do not know. Uh, four. All right. Oh, would you look at that? Actually, I reckon we could have just scrapped that middle one and had- Oh, there's still another one down the bottom. I was gonna say, we could like double down and have like double decks. Like double decking. Double- <laughs> That way you don't like, you know, your head's not cramped all the time and stuff. You've actually got room. Is this- is there room for this one? The only reason I think there might be- Did I even make the right deck? I think I did. The only reason I thought there might be is because there's this big old like hole in the bottom here. Nah, no, that's it. We've made ourselves an extra deck that we do not need. Let me just make sure we can't go and place it up top. There's definitely nowhere that this can attach to, right? There's definitely nowhere. Okay, yeah, we've got an extra deck. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Cool. Well, we all oh, look, we can just run across like that. Fantastic. Guys, that is it for today. We have made solid progress on our very first ship, the India Man. It's a modded ship. It's a beautiful ship. Well, it's at least it's going to be. We will be continuing this in our next episode. Hopefully getting the walls all sealed up and adding the little Miola touches. Um, and then the fun will really begin where we get to start uh, getting, a, getting a crew together to actually man the thing. Oh, I can't wait for that. We'll hopefully get the guys involved once it gets to that stage. It's going to be an awesome time. But that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, you're excited for our little building progression right here, then make sure to go ahead and wave at me. No, punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. And uh, go and check out the second channel if that tweaks your interest. But that's all from me. I'll catch you guys tomorrow in our next video. Bye. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not shake my head now. Bye for now.